not presidential timber. Now, when I say that, that probably means that she's not going to be chosen as a vice president. You, ah. you know, you can go. <laughs> no, you can go. You can go and you can say certain things, you know, I don't like them and blah, 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 and this. But when you say certain things, it sort of takes them out of play, right? Yeah. I can't say she's not of the timber to be a vice and then say, ladies and gentlemen, I'm proud to announce that I've picked. <laughs> Do you understand? But that's the way it is, okay? Tell it like it is. Tell it like it is, right, Steve? If you want a president who puts America first, you're going to have to vote for Donald J. Trump. Is this what put Nikki Haley over the edge? Good day, folks, and welcome to another edition of Lumberjack Logic. I'm your host, Neil Johnson. Obviously, something did because she went on Fox News spewing a bunch of lies, and we're going to break them down. What he's saying, he has lied about that. He went and told everybody on your newscast throughout Fox that Democrats were going to be voting in this New Hampshire primary. Democrats can't vote in this primary. They had to change their registration months ago. October. Uh, Nikki, that's actually true. Many Democrats register as independents in New Hampshire and are voting in the primary. And you've been talking to them, and we even have that on video. But let's just hear what Trump has to say, what he's been saying, and why Nikki is being disingenuous. Liberals and Biden supporters, that's what they want. And, you know, you have a governor here that allows Democrats to vote in the Republican primary. What's that all about? Your governor. And, you know, he'll be coming and he'll be calling me after the election. He says, oh, sir, I just want to congratulate you very much. I want to. This guy allows independents, many of whom are Democrats, independents and Democrats to vote in the Republican primary. What the hell is that all about? But despite that, we're going to win by very big numbers. Think of this number. 50% of Haley's voters said they were voting for Joe Biden in November. What the hell kind of a Republican candidate is that? And it was just reported that Nikki Haley, state director in New Hampshire. This is a very bad one. Listen carefully. Tyler Clark. Did anyone ever hear of him? He was a lobbyist for the 1630 Fund, which is managed by Arabella Advisors, which is the largest Democrat dark money network in the country and considered public enemy number one. That's who's managing her campaign. Does that tell you something, perhaps? The 1630 Fund and the larger Arabella Fund, you know who that is? It's a network, and they're giving her a lot of money because they want her to win because they don't want to run. Hey, look, they lost in 2016, and they lost even bigger in 2020, okay? And they don't want to do it again. They want to run against Nikki. He continues to say that I want to cut Social Security. I've never said I'm going to cut Social Security or raise the retirement age. He said that I don't want a wall. I passed the toughest illegal immigration law in the country when I was governor. President Obama sued me over it, and we won. Just because Trump says something doesn't make it true. I know him very well. When he throws temper tantrums like this, it's because he's nervous. It's because he feels threatened, and he should, because we're going to call him out on everything that we know. We have a country to save. What he's saying, he... Don't flatter yourself, Nikki. You were never that close. You don't know him that well. Furthermore, as far as the Social Security, this stuff is all on tape. And you saying that you're going to build the border wall? Come on. You're funded by the Koch brothers. And all they want is more illegal immigration, all these big business tycoons so they can get cheap labor. It's no different than the Democrats wanting more voters. You're basically a, a hybrid. You're a Hillary Clinton. That's what you are. Can I ask you just like a tiny question? Yeah. Do you think it's responsible for politicians to spend like a hundred million dollars in Iowa on TV ads, which go to mainly news stations that have lied to us for years when there's homeless veterans out there that could use that money? When you didn't even come close to beating Trump and you spent like a hundred million in TV ad money? Guy is like Project Veritas. Do you think $100 million? Do you think that could have found better use? Most likely, okay? But, you know, obviously DeSantis spent money. Anybody can run. But we're at this pivotal point right now where the other candidates are. At just That's why I'm so glad Ron DeSantis dropped out, why he threw his weight behind Trump. We need to unite behind our candidate. We need to defeat Joe Biden. We need to get rid of uh, open borders. I mean, the weaponization of law enforcement, the high crime, everything. 
we need to unite right now. Now, remember, subscribe to the channel if you're new. Support my sponsor, MyPillow, mypillow.com, promo code Lumberjack for big savings. I'll see you on the next episode. Peace out.